welcome back to my channel so today's video is a how-to on curling your hair I absolutely love curling my hair especially when I'm wearing hair extensions so I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of curling your hair you do not need a new me hairstyler whatever it is you do not need a GHD anything like that so yeah if you guys want to see how I created this kind of look with the kind of wavy mermaid like hair then please keep on watching okay guys so this is just my natural hair it's nothing fancy it's just really short well not short but it's just about medium length I haven't straightened it or anything like that I washed it last night and my hair is chemically treated and straightened anyway so that's why half of it's kind of straight towards the bottom I didn't straighten the rest of my hair because if you straighten the rest of your hair before curling your hair it will not curl and it will not hold a curl for this look I'm going to be using my clip-in hair extensions these are my Foxy Locks hair extensions if you guys have seen my previous video um, I did talk about these and I did an unboxing and a first impression so if you're interested to know a bit more about these extensions I will link that video down below you don't have to use hair extensions this technique will work on your your own natural hair whether you have short hair or if you have long hair it really doesn't matter um, this will this is just a curling video I personally just like wearing my hair extensions just because I like the look of long voluminous hair I'm not using the whole set obviously there is more hair than this in this set but I'm not using the whole set so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip these hair extensions in my hair before I start with the tutorial so the first weft I'll be taking is this three clip weft I'm going to be taking the largest piece of the set and this is the full clip weft. This is just what the hair extensions look like. They are pretty long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the two clip wefts. I'm just going to take a section from here and I'm just going to put my finger and then I'm just going to separate this hair and then I'm going to be taking the two clip weft which looks like that and I'm going to put it over here I hate these two clip wefts I'll be honest with you guys just because I feel like they're a bit too big for me and they tend to like stick out over here so then people actually know that you're wearing hair extensions which is so annoying see I don't know if you guys could tell but it was like sticking out before so I have to like make sure that none of the clips are showing I'm just going to clip here and towards my baby hair. So what you need to do is you need a hair clip and you also need to separate your hair into two sections just like how I've done. And then you need to just separate the hair so that you have a bottom piece and a top piece. And then what you do is you twist it and you clip this hair away and we will deal with that hair later so what you need to do is comb the hair so that there are no like knots and stuff before you start curling your hair always use a heat protectant I've already used a heat protectant in my extensions and my hair and I've already left it to dry it if you guys have heat protectant I would highly suggest you guys use it for this tutorial you just need a hair curler I'm just using a Remington one this was like from Briscoe's it cost me like $20 I got it years ago and it does the job I'm just gonna turn this on it has a tongue to it but I don't really use it so what you have to do is you need to separate your hair and once you've combed your hair you need to split it again into two so you have two thick sections and then I'm just gonna start off with the back hey guys so I just want to apologize really quickly I did record myself doing this whole bit of hair curling it but unfortunately my memory card just deleted all of the images and saved all of my footage from the last video I made which I don't know why I already had deleted it but I don't understand why it didn't save the footage that I just created right now so I'm really sorry um, but like I said what I did was I just took a section of hair just like that and then I just separated it in half like this and I clipped it away from my hair I just took two sections of hair like so and I just wrapped the curling wand 
around the hair. So I'm just going to show you with these pieces here. It's basically the same process as, as the top. So what you do is you separate your hair into little sections, um, well into kind of medium sections like so. You comb through it and you take your curling wand like so. What you do is you wrap your hair on top of the curling wand and this makes sure that your hair is being curled away from your face because that's the most attractive look with curly hair. It makes it look really voluminous and just wavy and just pretty. I just hold the hair for a few seconds. So I just hold it for about 15 or so seconds, but until I know that the heat has distributed through the whole hair and then I let go. So make sure that towards the bottom of your hair, which I'll show you, here, these ones, you just separate it in two sections. The top of your hair, you separate it into three sections. It does depend on your hair. I'm using hair extensions, so the hair is thick, so I do need to take two sections. But if you have finer hair, then take less sections than me. So at the bottom, take two sections, and at the top, take just like one section or two sections. Don't take three. So I'm just going to release the hair so you guys can see. And then just hold it for a few seconds. And then let it go and then you have like this wave so just flip it back and then take this section so i know that was just two sections right there but when i mean three sections i mean like this is my third section if you have like bangs or something then make sure that you don't curl them with um the other pieces of hair because your bangs are separate you curl them separate so yeah just wrap the hair around the curling wand again away from your face and then just hold it for a few seconds just wait until the heat goes through and then I release it. I hold it in my hand and then I let go and then it's just like that. So I just flip it towards the back like so. And then I take this section of hair here. I have very short hair like because I recently got it cut. So if you have long hair then that's just better if you have longer bangs. But unfortunately for me I have a short one. So what I do is I just get the hair tong and I just try and curl it like so if I can it's quite short unfortunately which I hate and try not to burn your fingers but that's just what I do and I just hold it there for a few seconds and I let go of it like that and it looks weird but then I just like flip it like this and then I kind of just mold it into place this is how it looks Oops. so yeah that's just what I do I know it doesn't look that great, this one here, this side, but um, fortunately this side is longer and this side is short, so it's really annoying, so I can't deal with it now. I'm just going to take more of this section to just curl it a little bit more because it didn't curl as much as I liked it to, so I'm just going to re-curl it, look at that, I'm just wrapping the hair um, on top of the curling wand. I'm just going to let it go and hold it into place like so, wait till it cools and then release and that's just what it looks like. Ow, I keep burning myself. I just comb the tops just to kind of make it look nice and it's just how my hair looks. So this is what I do, I just stick it on. And yeah, you don't have to wear the flower crown by the way if you don't want to, but I just really like the flower crown with this look. So yeah, that's just how it looks. I'm just going to turn it around so you guys can see. That's just what the hair looks like from that. So it's really shiny and pretty and wavy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. The button is down below. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this video. And yeah, I hope that you guys do try it out. I'm so sorry that the footage didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But hopefully all the clips are together and that you guys can see my point. And yeah, so I hope you guys all have a lovely day. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!